Hey you guys. All right, so I'm going to do another Zodiac Collective reading. So let's tune in, roll the dice to see who Spirit wants to talk to and what about today. <laughs> Come on now. Virgo. Hey Virgos. I haven't done Virgo in a while. Three, which is Gemini energy, communications. Uh, the third house also rules um, cousins, socializing, learning, communication. All right. Uh, it also can rule siblings as well. And yeah, that's Uranus energy, so um, Aquarius energy. So there might be changes in your learning um, and your communication, all right? There might be changes in who you socialize with, rapid changes. All right, so let's tune in uh, to Virgo. I'm going to use the Madam Fortuna's or the Madam Endorsed Fortune cards. So Virgo, what's going on with Virgos? <clears throat> and it's third house Uranus energy. Yeah, you guys might be changing up the way you communicate and who you socialize with, things like that. You guys might be really getting getting down to the nitty-gritty with your boundaries yeah let your intentions be known the minstrel so i feel like you guys are getting in tune with who you are what your desires are what you want out of life who you want to be around what you want to be around the spider be meticulous and patient yeah i feel like you've done a lot of inner work a lot of shadow work a lot of winnowing getting rid of impurities getting rid of people places and things seduction passion and romance await so you guys might be getting ready for um i don't know why i heard a date <laughs> yeah maybe you guys are are uh, really getting down to the nitty-gritty with how you want to communicate in love situations or to lovers to future lovers <sighs> or whoever you whoever you socialize with all right maybe you're being more passionate the forces of nature favor you, all right? Yeah, maybe you guys are understanding that you're a lot um, protect, more protected than you thought. The spirit, yeah, unseen forces watch over you. Definitely getting that. You guys are really recognizing that you have been protected in the past, and that's helping you to open up now, to be more meticulous and patient um, with your boundaries, with your wants, your needs, because you know now that your needs will actually be met definitely feel that yeah love and prosperity the queen so you guys have balanced out your fe your femininity your feminine and your masculine yeah you've triumphed over adversity or you are so that's good energy virgo let's go ahead and get some cards from the goddess oracle going on with Virgos and yeah, clear the energy brazen stir this card keeps coming out yeah so this collective is really um moving forward without shame all right I keep hearing I'm, what I'm not keep hearing but now I'm hearing um don't start none won't be none all right if you know that song by by Lil John. So that's what I'm hearing. Let your intentions be known. So yeah, I really feel like you guys are being a lot more intentional. Okay, you guys might be in the energy of manifesting at this time. Number 17 could be significant. 28. Um, Mbakumu. Mbakumu. 
soul forgiveness. Some of you guys could be mothers. You could have two kids. Yeah, you guys are giving yourself a lot of grace at this time. And you have in the past, which has helped you <clears throat> to know that you are protected. Wow, creativity, seven sisters, the number 12. So you guys could definitely be dealing with um, siblings at this time. How you show up in connections. How you show up in partnerships and communities. Because the third house is also your... Um, like the importance of relationships with other people, neighborhoods and things like that, community. So I see you guys looking at passion and romance in a new way. And not just like passion in intimate relationships, but passions in everything, right? Especially with your creativity. So some of you guys might be, uh, ooh, some of you guys might be starting a business or something like that. Wow, Yasigi, live out loud, number 31. Yeah, so... Your spirit team has really helped you guys with healing, soul forgiveness, and living out loud, being your true authentic self, being okay with who you are, taking your power back. Wow. At the bottom of the deck, four, feeling safe. Tatuba, very beautiful energy, Virgo. So you guys are reaching the pinnacle of success. You're feeling safe. You feel like you're protected. You feel whole. Wounded healer. Yeah, you guys have healed. You guys have probably been through a lot, but you've healed from all of those situations that were meant to break you. So I'm, I'm going to pull from the Kipper deck. I didn't pull from this from this deck for the last people I forgot for Pisces. Sorry, Pisces. <laughs> if you are still here, if you have signs in Virgo. So you got Thief out here, 24. Yes, yeah, so I really feel like you guys are setting boundaries. Um, you may have dealt with people in the past that stole from you, that stole your energy. Definitely get a lot of energy vampires. Um, and just like people that wanted to shut you up, people that wanted you to be quiet, people that wanted you to play the back. Because Virgos, you can be, I mean, you can be either or. Like if you even think about <laughs> any type of Virgo, right? You always have that star power. You think about Michael Jackson, Beyonce. Um, I can't think of any more Virgos, but there's a lot of like, awesome awesome virgos i have a virgo moon in hella other places in virgo but they always have two sides and i also like juju O. Oh, that's kind of like i guess you could say my alter ego and then there's me right so in in your everyday life yeah you could be really professional down to earth maybe even shy quiet okay some might even say meek or humble but then you know you can always turn up right and so I really feel, I really get that energy here, especially with the brazen card. So you're really living out loud. You're really in your, in your energy and your power at this time. You guys might even be expressing yourself. Um, I'm see, I look, uh, I'm looking at this light right here and it reminded me of like the whistle that, that blows on a train. So you guys might be blowing your whistle. You might be whistle blowing at this time or just telling your side of the story, um, just being very intentional with what you're pouring into, who you're giving your energy to, what you're giving your energy to, the connections you're being a part of, how you communicate, how you show up. All right. We got courthouse. So with the courthouse being there, be meticulous and patient. Um, and we got 23 and 24. So yeah, you've cut uh, a lot of cords. You've cut a lot of people, a lot of things, people off. You've made a lot of decisions, all right, which call for soul forgiveness. Maybe you guys had a lot of karma. You paid a lot of karma. You guys may have had, um, you know, a lot of changes that happen, especially with the Uranus energy, because Uranus is very volatile energy, all right. So with the courthouse here, you may have had divorces, or you could have had just really cut cords with certain things, okay finalize certain things there was a lot of contracts involved a lot of changes involved all right we got high honor and message of concern hmm
Yeah. So I really just get that, you know, with all the work that you've done, with all the sacrifices that you've made, all the cords you've cut, and your ancestors and your spirit guides have clearly helped you to do this because, you know, whatever you went through, all of this that caused you to be this person who's out, out, uh, outspoken now, okay, who's setting boundaries, who's very clear and concise with your boundaries, with your morals and your values, not taking any BS. It has brought you to this moment where you are somebody that people see as high value. And I don't even necessarily like to use that word because of what the culture has done to it. But yeah, you guys are high value. All right. And people see that about you now. In the ways that you show up. Okay. Just by you being yourself. Also, I am getting here that, you know, if you are interested in love, there is a someone who may be interested in you they may they also may see you as you know this high value person they may see you in your creativity all right and they want to be meticulous and patient with you community didn't i say something about a community third house energy so, yeah, you guys could be um, building your own community at this time. There may be people who are looking at you and they want to build, build a community, be part of a community with you, bring you into their community. All right. They may somebody may need a new promoter. Why did I say promoter? <laughs> so you got some of you guys might be a promoter or something like that. Um, maybe they need a new person in this community or a new leader in this community. They may be looking at you. You, you do have a great fortune at the bottom of the deck. So you guys have a lot of opportunities and and things that are coming in for you. It's the Pentacles energy because of the changes that you've made. And you're going to be able to live out loud in this in this new community because the forces of nature favor you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get some tarot. And let's tap in and see what else is happening for my Virgos. I'm hearing don't stop till you get enough for you guys too. And Michael is a Virgo, so what's going on with Virgos? We got the King of Swords. Precision, articulate, truthful, cautious, designed and planned. Controlled but determined. So this could be you guys. Huh. Also... You guys could be dealing with a court case with somebody and this could be really throwing people off. All right. Maybe you guys are going through a, a sudden divorce or some type of sudden upheaval. You got the queen of wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Aggressive, demanding, dramatic, obstinacy, jealousy, deceit, self-doubt. So maybe somebody's trying to make you doubt yourself at this time. Um, but your spirit team is definitely helping you with this. All right, and you're meant to feel safe. Maybe somebody's trying to make you feel uncomfortable, make you feel unsafe, especially if you are in a court case or some type of court battle, some type of divorce. There could be a king of swords here who's trying to be sneaky or be sly or do something really messed up here. Um, but nevertheless, and, and you may be with that energy of you being like more humble, more meek. Maybe nobody in your community knew about this. But you're not you're just not telling it or telling the truth about it or I'm not quite sure what this is. Let's see. What else is going on for Virgo? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Frivolity, setbacks, poverty, dissipation, bad faith, danger, wanting rewards without work. Hmm. So you guys could definitely be going through a divorce right now and maybe you were like housewives or Maybe you just made less less money than this person, all right? 
maybe you're going through a soul forgiveness of whatever this situation is that's breaking down for you or whatever the situation is that's causing you to be um feel this way and the nine of pentacles in reverse have bad faith or maybe you don't have as much resources as you need right now or that you used to have or you're used to having okay maybe you feel like somebody stole something from you they stole your your self-worth or something like that But there's something on the other side. There's something that's meant for you to do that's going to get you in the upright. I really feel that. <sighs> yeah, maybe there's um yeah there's something some type of sudden upheaval in the community here, and you might have to be creative to get yourself out of this situation or to build your own sense of self, to build your own sense of community. Maybe you're the outsider in this community. Maybe you have to forgive yourself for for going where. Uh, you were tolerated or something like that and now you have to you know create these boundaries and go on this this journey by yourself i don't know why i'm feeling that but let's see what else is going on six of cups in reverse strife arising from vanity thanklessness cynicism independence unforgiveness So it's giving like narcissistic abuse almost a little bit. Maybe you just got discarded by somebody. Maybe you've um, made a lot of sacrifices. I was getting that here. You made a lot of sacrifices and you could have definitely been, you know, still ascending and growing in your own ways. Maybe not financially. Okay. Again, maybe you were a stay at home mom or something like that. Or you were helping. You were being a helpmate in some way. And this was taken out of out of context. Or somebody's trying to make you feel like you're not um, self-sufficient, you're not, or you're dependent on them, or maybe because you were dependent on them, there was a fall from grace of some kind. And you can't forgive this person, or you're finding it hard to forgive this person. Yeah, you got Nine of Cups in reverse, manipulative, unreliable, fickle, moody, idle, sensual, untruthful. So was this King of Swords untruthful? Did he steal something from you? You got the Nine of Cups in reverse and the strength. Selfishness, greed, materialism, mistakes, imperfections, self-assurance, confidence, passion, resilience, courage, and inner power. So yeah, I feel like there was been situations in this community. There was been issues in this community. And again, maybe you felt like the odd man out. Maybe you were the only person in this community um, of a certain background or ethnicity or something like that. Maybe there was a lot of prejudice here, but nevertheless, you weren't um, happy here. And yeah, could have caused a lot of strife, stress for you in your development. But yeah, I feel like this is a freedom for you. I feel like you're finally being able to li live out loud or something like that. Maybe this is this is a pathway being blocked for you so that you can live out loud. Maybe you're getting, you're releasing what's not for you so that you can get in contact with what is for you. And yeah, it might suck. And yeah, you might be ruminating over how everybody had you fucked up in this situation. But at the end of the day, you're going to be moving into feeling safe and into great fortune. And maybe there is going to be a mature man that comes upon your journey. All right, so this isn't the end of, of the journey for you. What's this King of Swords? Yeah, you got the six. Oh, no, you don't. Never mind. The King of Swords is the hangman in reverse. Failure to give of oneself. Lack of sacrifice. Indecision. Frustrated action. Virgo, what did I say? So maybe you were married to this person. Somebody who didn't give. Somebody who was indecisive. All right. Somebody who, and maybe when they did give, they gave with a, a heavy heart. They gave with a cold hand with a cold shoulder all right so maybe you made the decision to to leave this person even if you you didn't you know you were you knew it was going to be bring a setback or you were going to have to cut back on your expenses or whatever maybe you felt like being alone is better than being with this person so you're you're being creative with you know new love all right with the way you see love and really val valuing yourself here with the high honor but yeah, I feel like this person definitely stole from you, 
stole energy, stole time, resources, love, attention. And you had to speak up about this. Or this person just didn't speak up about what their intentions were. Or both. What's the nine of pentacles in reverse for Vir Virgo? Yeah, judgment in reverse. Failure to face the facts. Delay, disappointment, blame, doubt. So you could be blaming yourself for being a helpmate, for being a... Or maybe, you, yeah, you could be like, I know better, I knew better, why did I do that? Yeah, soul forgiveness. Yeah, you, you might be, yeah, really having grace for yourself and with yourself at this time. Because you're having a judgment call or you didn't use your proper judgment. You feel like you didn't use your proper judgment. You may be disappointed. Well, you are disappointed, I feel. Yeah, whatever this love and prosperity was, it actually was of adversity. But I feel like you're triumphing over this adversity. It's in the cards right here. And I said that earlier. I felt good energy, but then all this other stuff started coming out. So, and you have feeling safe here. So I do feel like wherever you are now, yeah, you may be financially and emotionally, you know, volatile, but you are recalibrating. Okay. Because once you get back to your energy with the creativity, the high honor here, you'll be good. You just had to get away from this community or this person, this particular person and this community. What's the six of cups in reverse? Yeah, the King of Cups in reverse, lack of emotional intelligence, lack of control, merciless, merciless shifty and dealings, coldness. So this person could have been very thankless, very um, ungrateful, all right, critical of you, unloving. I feel like you had to find a, a creative way to get yourself out of this situation. And this could have definitely been a shock to you. Maybe this person just switched up out of nowhere. Like, I don't know. Yeah, five of pentacles. You left. You felt left out in the cold. And you had to leave somebody else out in the cold. Insecure, hardship, poverty, loss of money or position, toil, harshness, need, lack of resources. So maybe this person lost resources. Maybe this person lost their job. Or maybe you did. Or maybe this person took a job from you. This, this, this could be a boss that fired you. This could be a husband that lost their job or you lost your job and they turned on you. They switched on you. Um, or just something happened. They could have been an alcoholic or something like that. What's the nine of cups in reverse for a Virgo? the world so a cycle is closing yeah you're done with this you're done with um selfishness selfishness greed mistakes imperfectionism all right materialism in this community yeah you're ready to live out loud so maybe these people were very surface level maybe they were very judgmental things like that yeah nine of swords in reverse you're choosing to have patience with yourself all right finding help control decisions made so yeah you made a final decision here with the courthouse be meticulous and patient you're having uh forgiveness you're having grace for yourself for the mistakes that you've made the things you've overlooked the boundaries that you didn't set the things you never said you're letting it all go i really feel that here what's the strength queen of pentacles in reverse ace of pentacles in reverse yeah, prosperity, without happiness, missed wealth, corruption, loss, mischances, undecided, capricious, moody, foolish, suffocating, nagging, materialistic, and jealous. Yeah, so having strength in this situation, um, that's really what it would cause. That, that would be the outcome for you to miss your own opportunities, opportunities in, that are actually in alignment with you. That would cause you to be in the, in the Queen of Pentacles in the upright, stable, all right, grounded, trustworthy charitable okay practical right so you started so you had to make practical decisions okay but you're recognizing how if you were to have strength maybe this was a lose-lose situation i um man you guys gotta watch that movie um baby reindeer all right he kept putting himself in 
messed up predicaments you know i'm in and me and my boyfriend me and my my boyfriend me and my fiance my husband were talking about um talking about you know while we were watching the show we were talking about how like you know that can happen when you get traumatized and if you don't heal if you don't do the work if you don't get the help you need <clears throat> You start to feel so low within yourself that you keep continuously putting yourself in situations um, to further traumatize you. All right. And you see it as a as a situation where you're not going to you're not going to let go of these people or these dynamics or this victim mindset because you feel like you're losing. But you're losing even more of yourself staying in this dynamic. Right. So that's really what I get here. You had to choose yourself. You had to choose to, you know, throw in a towel, you know. Yeah. Will of fortune in reverse. Misfortune, failure, chaos, bad luck, broken sequence, returning again to the same situation. Yeah, you've already learned. Maybe you didn't even have to be here for long for that long for you to recognize like this isn't for me. These people ain't for me. I really get that. Um, give me more on this king of swords for Virgo. Yeah, two of pentacles in reverse. Force, gaiety, inflexibility, chaos, imbalance, overwhelm, disorganize. Yeah, I really feel like there was a lot of red flags in the situation. And there was a lot of things that maybe you thought you saw from the beginning, but you weren't, you didn't vocalize it. Especially with the nine of pentacles in reverse and the judgment here. And being as though the third house is out here about communication, maybe you didn't vocalize a lot of the things that you saw. All right, that you weren't okay with. What's the hangman reverse for Virgo? <clears throat> yeah, death in reverse. This person was not changing. All right, stagnation, sameness, immobile. This person literally could have gotten into an uh, into an accident at work or something like that. Or you could have asked for something at work, and this person was being um. You know, very uncooperative, rude. <sighs> yeah, but see, the Queen of Wands is in the up right now. Give me more on the Nine of Pentacles in reverse for Virgo. What's this? Yeah, Queen of Wands. So I really feel like this is not your this is not your actual energy. Like, yeah, you may have been playing a role. <laughs> And I feel like, yeah, with the let your intentions be known and the brazen, I feel like you might be telling this person off. And that's the thing with Virgos. Y'all rule communication. Y'all can really, you feel what I'm saying? While you may be meek and you may have those moments, you can really read a bitch. Clock that. You can really, you feel what I'm saying? You can really clock, clock somebody. All right? With that mouth. But no, I really get here that you had to buck up. Like, I, I really feel you, this is who you actually are. You're actually confident warm passionate enthusiastic determined independent and you may have thought this person was too or this situation all right this community you may have thought you would you would have been able to go here and be creative share your ideas and you know that type of thing but you found out that was a bad call <laughs> clarify judgment in reverse yeah, five of swords, selfish, conflict, aggression, arguments, fear, fear of failure, self-sabotage, anxiety, seven of pentacles, and the three of wands. So yeah, that's what you invested in. But look who's here. Them unseen forces, temperance, moderation, tranquility, serenity, combination of forces and realization. So they quickly helped you realize this. All right. Yeah, you are in a situation... Um, where, yeah, you started to play mind games with these people, too, like trying to win at all costs, thinking, yeah, maybe if I stay here, things will eventually get better. Yeah, maybe that was the being meticulous and patient energy as well. All right. And with the soul forgiveness, yeah, you could have seen the good in these people or in this situation and kept investing here, kept trying to expand here. All right. Trying to get these people to expand as well. Trying to get these people to expand their mind. Maybe try to get this corporation or this employment this uh situation this place whatever to expand in some type of way to level up in some type of way be more creative take things more seriously yeah they didn't care ten of wands in reverse they were just trying to 
release their own bit burdens. So King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. How is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? The Five of Pentacles in reverse. You see what I'm saying? So you letting go of this situation, you recognizing that having a strength was going to leave you missing opportunities, all right? You let it go. Money regained after severe toil. Because you already were, <laughs> you know, bugging the fuck out here or whatever. Recovery, assistance, gift. Yeah. This is a divine gift for you to know when to hold them and when to fold them. Yeah, the devil. Know when to hold them and know when to fold them. You are only limited by what you believe is possible. Bondage, materialism, obsession, chains, shadow self, repression, powerlessness. Yeah, and taking me back to that baby reindeer. He was in his shadow heavy. He would not get out of his shadow. Every time he made a decision for his greatest and highest self to set a boundary, to stay away from somebody who had um, disrespected him or literally assaulted him, he turned around and did the same thing. And, and we, I was just like, what the heck is going on? But he was a perpetual victim. And you refused to be. With the feeling safe and the wounded healer, <laughs> you refused to be a perpetual victim. Yeah, so you move forward. All right, these people could see you resting now. They could, be, they could definitely be talking about your money situation, but uh, what else? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, what else? Yeah, they could be saying that you're moody and withdrawn. All right, you're being a, a, a martyr. You've been inconsistent. They know what it is. Don't worry about it, Virgo. They might be trying to steal your joy <laughs> at this time. Definitely getting that. I'm going to pull from the Panther Oracle to get some more energy and see what else is going on. Wow. Fury, 74. Offense, madness, unpleasantness. Yeah, so this could have been a very unpleasant situation for you. You could have been very uncomfortable here. And it could have made you so uncomfortable that you had to finally say something or let it be known. Like, you're not all that or I'm not even happy here or something like that. Or maybe it was this person. Yeah, curse, misfortune, catastrophe, hate. Maybe this person was rude like, yeah like i said i don't know what this is let me see let me get more information what, 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 what else imagination variety fantasy mind so this being here with the be meticulous and patient <sighs> yeah maybe you were imagining things in this dynamic in this situation maybe you were just ready for a change or something Yeah, maybe you were ready for a change. There could be love spells involved. All right, for sure. They probably, they, 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 yeah, this dynamic could have needed something from you. And it was planned to bring you into this, into this community. That could be it too. Because they wanted to relieve their own burdens. Yeah, nightmare. Here with the creativity, passion, and romance await. So maybe this was a situation divinely guided to get you in, 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 in tune with your desires. You got suffering, darkness, persecution. These people could have persecuted you even though you were here helping them. Yeah, unforgiveness, cynicism. All right. And this could also be looked at. This could, yeah, this could be, you know, considered as a nightmare for you. You got reservation at the bottom of the deck. Worth, desire, extravagance, and reverse. So yeah, you could have ex experienced poverty here. Maybe it was it was uh, marketed as one thing. You got stress and indulgence that came out, but I'm going to put it back. Maybe it could have been marketed as one thing, but it was something else. Final card for Virgo. I'm going to take... 
Let me put these back because they're all in reverse and too many came out. So let me see. Give me another card for Virgo. Fate. Yeah, forces of nature favor you. And that was fated. It's not a coincidence, fatalism, fortune telling. Yeah. So this was fated to happen in some sort in some sort of way. Coach, advice, obedience, and knowledge. Maybe you have knowledge of that. Clarify Fury. Strategy in reverse. Yeah, I really feel like these people tried to play with you, Virgo. All right, and maybe <laughs> this didn't work out in their in their best interest. Okay, maybe this was a, a trick to dominate you, to steal from you. All right, but you quickly turned it around. What's at the bottom of the deck? Fright, depression, phobia, paranoia. Maybe these people wanted you to be like that, introverted, separate. Yeah, so that you can give to them. Maybe they wanted to learn something from you, so that they could persevere. What's the imagination for Virgo? Okay, and but it came out in reverse. Stability, harmony, acceptance. Yeah, you never accepted this. You were never okay with this. It was never harmonious. It was never stable. There was always one-upmanship. There was always... But just because you were showing up like this. So you have to work on that, all right? Because even though you are protected, you don't want to continue to put yourself in dangerous situations especially with the feeling safe under here and yeah me bringing up baby reindeer <laughs> like i'm really just getting that with the sweetheart and the withdrawal let's see what else alliance justice blind i don't know virgo it's getting kind of dark here like um just because you're one way doesn't mean everybody else is, all right? And maybe, like, next time, you might not get away. I don't know what this is, bro. Judgment in reverse. Clarify nightmare. Luck. Jackpot, fortune, reward. Yeah, these people probably thought that they were going to get something out of bothering you, out of persecuting you. And your creativity or the way that you love, the way you show up. And connections in this community. They they could have thought that it was a strategy to keep, keep you somewhere, all right? Or to make you want to leave, even. And shit, maybe it worked, but... <laughs> shit, that's your... I mean, who cares? Honestly, as long as you feel good about yourself, as long as you're safe. Justice at the bottom of the deck yeah okay clarify fate real estate in reverse yeah maybe you left somewhere you left the house wealth in reverse investment in reverse mega project in reverse yeah maybe you left a job house you stopped investing in whatever this is mask came out deception pretending inconstancy so maybe the entire point was to try to make it seem like you were wearing a mask the whole time oh you didn't love us you're fake you weren't here for the right reasons you're spying whatever whatever let them say whatever all right robbery yeah maybe they wanted to exploit you but also what i'm getting is you stopped investing because these people had a mask on and they were exploiting you it was unfair all right and maybe you were in, yeah you were incautious here you were going off of based off of your your talents your gifts your abilities how you feel about yourself and you quickly realize, okay, these people don't feel the same way about themselves as I feel about myself. And they're not here to empower me. They're here to get on my nerves and to bother me, all right? And to bring instability to me and to use me. You feel what I'm saying? All right? And to steal from me. I'm going to let my intentions be known. This is what I'm here for. Not none of that other monkey business. Clarify strategy in reverse. aid yeah mercy charity kindness so they could have tried to take your kindness for weakness loss in reverse yeah you ain't taking no losses damage sorrow bereavement yeah you ain't taking no losses 
you might have been offended. You might have gotten mad. <laughs> Things might have been unpleasant for you. But okay. Clarify ni uh, nightmare. Memory. Yeah, so maybe these people wanted to get in your mind. Maybe they wanted to mess up how you see love, how you see community, how you see relationships. You got conflict in reverse, but yeah, you didn't let that bother you. And also profession in reverse. Yeah, maybe they wanted you to quit so that somebody else could get this. This also could have been a community that was bullying you or that was fake with you to get you to leave this person. And maybe this person didn't care. Maybe this person took their side or something like that. What's the luck? What's luck? Relaxation, blind, injustice. Yeah, somebody wanted to chill. Somebody wanted to, you know, act like they didn't know. They thought that, you know, it's just a fucked up situation. I don't know what this is, y'all. What is this? Clarify the mask. Marionette in reverse dictatorship domination and reluctance in reverse yeah so these people could not yeah they were fake but they they didn't i mean what that got to do with you though and i really feel like that's what you said what does what does that have to do with me and also them trying to guilt trip you and lie about who you are oh you didn't really love us you weren't here for the right reasons when they know what it was they were being insidious they were being cowardice they were being you know they were just sitting by watching things happen or riding your coattails i don't know but whatever this is you didn't let what they said you know keep you there keep you stuck you didn't let them puppeteer you all right play emotional games with you yeah stubbornness in reverse mullish attitude arrogance yeah you're not arrogant and you're not an enemy either <laughs> but that doesn't mean that you don't that you have to desire what the hell they want you to desire like what yeah you're not going to stay anywhere where you're tolerated all right, so that's what it really what I'm getting. I'm gonna use the heal yourself cards and then I'm gonna close out because I'm just a little bit too into y'all, into y'all reading. <laughs> I'm gonna get the heal yourself cards and then I'm gonna get a sword tooth card. So, give me a card for Virgo. Discover your life purpose. So I really feel like you're dis discovering your life purpose at this time, Virgo. Twenty nine. And this was one of the cycles or, yeah, love. Yeah, this definitely could have been a relationship. If it wasn't, it's just, you know, um, two and eight is ten. So another cycle that you went through and you really having to get in touch with loving yourself. All right. With the Queen of Wands energy. In the courthouse and soul forgiveness, judgeness. I mean, soul forgiveness and judgment. <laughs> You had to get clear on what was okay, all right? What you were imagining, how you were deceiving yourself in certain ways about what love is. Here's another card for Virgo. Whoa. Give me another card for Virgo. Letting go. Yeah. So there might have been a, a passionate situation or a love situation that you let go or something that you were passionate about that you let go. And yeah, because you only, the only memories that you have is, is of nightmares, is of, you know, things that you can't stand, suffering, all right? Maybe you weren't able to cre uh, create here. You weren't able to flourish creatively, all right? Maybe these people tried to stifle you creatively. They could have told you that you were going to be able to use your creativity, but... All right, you got patience. So yeah, I really feel like you had to have patience with the situation. This could have been a long cycle. This could have been a short cycle. It just depends. All right, for each, every one of you, it'll be different. At the bottom of the deck, you got sadness. So you guys could definitely be sad at this time. Um, but I'm not feeling that energy. I feel like this might be the environment or the people that you left that's feeling this. But if you are feeling sadness, just understand that it is... Um, you know, part of the process when you are letting go of things that you were emotionally tied to, all right, even if those emotions were negative, all right, 
because you could be really feeling like oh how did that happen how did i invest in that especially as a virgo you know virgos rule the mind well not necessarily rule the mind but they're ruled by mercury and you're, you guys are very intellectual you guys are very smart for the most part so you could be really hard on yourself and you pay attention to the to detail details so you could be wondering how you missed this all right how could your judgment have been off yeah sexuality self-sabotage procrastination <sighs> take off your mask entrapment so yeah maybe you're you're you have to do the shadow work you have to look back and see where you messed up at all right so you don't do it again um maybe there's something with your inner child and sexuality like i was saying with the baby reindeer you guys might want to watch that but trigger warning it is kind of you know deep it's really detailed all right and it does go into assault you know those types of things but um whatever the situation is you are safe all right you found a way to empower yourself and i'm super proud of you guys despite what happened despite what happened to you despite how people treated you you really bossed up i definitely see that so let me get a card from archangel michael i'm gonna take this one yeah go forward fearlessly thank you for walking with me every step of the way for holding my hand giving me confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose and you got discover your life purpose out here all right so definitely you're in your your life purpose at this time virgo and your ancestors and your spirit guides are super proud of you for making decisions that are for your highest and greatest good no matter what all right and get one more card archangel michael all right Arch ask archangel michael to help you with this situation archangel michael thank you for assisting me with this situation please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times so yeah because some people were trying to get under your skin get on your nerves but God is in charge. Dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it, giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. Yeah, this community definitely needs some healing. <laughs> I don't know. It seems toxic. I don't know what was going on there, but um, they need some healing. So pray for them. Pray for your situation. Pray for yourself. Have grace for yourself. I'm going to get a soul truth card that will close out. Give me a soul truth card for Virgo, spirit, ancient ancestors of Virgo. Give me a soul truth card for, for Virgo. How can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? If your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. Today's soul action, choose one self-care action to do today. Set stronger boundaries. Meditate and listen to your heart. Speak to yourself with compassion. Focus on your strengths. Say no to something that isn't a soul yes. Say yes to something you are afraid of. Let go of what you cannot control. Stay far away from drama and negativity. Ask for help and allow it. And write down three things that you are grateful for. So I really feel like this really, you know, sums it up for what you have gone through, whether it was a love situation, a work situation, whatever it was, right? You are showing up as the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, but also the Queen of Wands. So it's kind of, you know, contrasting energies. I feel like you put yourself in uh, situations or in energies that, you know, you weren't necessarily comfortable with, but you could have thought that it was good for your soul's growth at the same time. And spirit is, you know, clapping it up for you. They're really applauding you for that. But see, recognize how it puts you in situations that cause sadness, all right, instead of growth. And, um, you know, just refine yourself in those areas a little bit more, all right? So you might want to do some of these other things that are listed here, like saying no to something that is, isn't a soul yes. Like I said, I, I felt like you were, yeah, with the okay in reverse, you were making decisions um, that were bad judgment calls. So just work on that, Virgo. Create stronger boundaries, but I definitely do see you doing that anyway. Am I focused on what I'm losing or gaining? Yeah. Are you going through some change? I really feel like you guys are. Are you scared to let go because of what you might lose? I feel like you guys aren't, but if you are, you need to know that you're safe and that you are protected and unseen forces watch over you and it's safe for you to move and it's safe for you to go where you are safe and where you are protected and where you are honored and you're valued. What if you shifted your focus from what you might lose to what you might gain yes endings are actually new beginnings 
absolutely. Um, today, make a list of all the things you will gain from the change you are going through. Fill your heart, take a breath, and deepen into trust. Amazing things are coming. So definitely something about a list, all right? Make a list for sure. There's a list right here, and then right here it says make a list, okay? Um, really get in tune with your heart and your mind. And yeah, make sure that whatever you feel in your heart, it matches up with what you feel in your mind, Virgo, all right? Um, really get in tune with that Mercury energy and connecting to that. But that is all that I see for you guys. Let me know how it resonates down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.